Hi, John McElroy here, talking all things automotive. And in this video, I want to talk about which automakers are making the biggest investment in their future. Let's compare who's spending how much on research and development and on capital expenditures. That tells the story of who's putting the most money into new technology, future products, and new plants and equipment. And as those of you who have been following my videos have probably already guessed, there's some real surprises in the numbers. Let's start with research and development. Now, when you say R&D, most people conjure up images of scientists in lab coats working with beakers or electronic equipment. And that's right, that's exactly what research is about. But then there's the D side of R&D, which is where automakers book all the money that they're spending developing new cars, trucks, and vans. And the Volkswagen Group spends more money on R&D than any other automaker, by far. It spent nearly $15.8 billion last year, 60% more than anyone else. Now, that shouldn't be too surprising. The VW Group has a lot of product mouths to feed with all of its different brands, including VW, Audi, Porsche, Skoda, Seat, Cupra, Bentley, Lamborghini, Bugatti, and Ducati. Next comes General Motors, with $9.8 billion spent on R&D, followed closely by Mercedes-Benz at $9.3 billion and Toyota at $8.9 billion. Then we come to another cluster, including Ford at $7.8 billion, BMW at $7.3, and then another cluster with Honda at $6.2 and Stellantis at $5.7 billion. At the bottom of the list is Tesla at $3 billion, Hyundai at nearly $2.5 billion, and Nissan and Renault at $2.3 billion. But you know, these numbers only tell part of the story. To get a better apples-to-apples -apples comparison, we've got to look at the R&D spending as a percentage of the total revenue of a company. For example, it's not a surprise that VW spends more R&D than Renault does because it's such a bigger company than Renault. But when you look at R&D as a percentage of total revenue, you get a much better picture of who's devoting more of their resources to research. And on that basis, General Motors jumps to the top of the list. It devoted 6.2% of its revenue to R&D last year, more than anyone else. Next is Mercedes at 5.6%, and then Volkswagen at 5.1%. Then comes a clump of companies in the 4% range, including Ford at 4.9%, Honda at 4.8%, BMW at 46 and Renault at 4.5%. Below industry average are Tesla at 3.7%, Toyota at 3%, Stellantis at 2.9%, and Nissan at 28 At the bottom of the list is Hyundai at only 1.7%. You know, I find that totally bizarre. Hyundai is coming out with so many new vehicles and it's spending so heavily on EVs that I would have thought that their number would be much higher. But that's the number it reported. Now, maybe one of you out there can help explain to me why this is going on, because either Hyundai is making magic with its product development costs, or Korean companies just book their R&D expenses very differently than everyone else. Here's something else that the numbers tell us. The automakers that have been kind of dragging their heels on developing EVs are spending less on R&D. Toyota, Stellantis, Honda, and Nissan are not devoting as much money to EVs and it shows in these numbers. But that also means, as they move into doing more EV development, their R&D spend is going to have to go up, and go up dramatically. That will likely affect their bottom lines, meaning that their profitability and stock price could take a hit. Meanwhile, the companies that are investing more heavily in EVs right now, like GM, Mercedes, VW, Ford, BMW, and Renault, are probably going to get over the hump before the others. That means in another two or three years or so, their R&D spend could level off, letting them drop more money to the bottom line. When it comes to Tesla, I think its R&D spend is below industry average because last year it didn't come out with any new product. My guess is it's going to start booking expenses this year for developing the semi and later this year for the Cybertruck. And so I think we're going to see a higher number for R&D spending when Tesla reports its finances for 2023, but I was surprised to see Tesla so far down the list. Okay, 
That wraps up the R&D side of this presentation. Now let's look at CapEx, or capital expenditures. That's the money that automakers spend on new plants and equipment. Once again, the Volkswagen Group spends more on CapEx than anyone else, $14.2 billion. Then comes BMW at nearly $11.7 billion, Stellantis at $9.8 billion, and General Motors at $9 billion. Tesla comes in well above the industry average at $7.1 billion, with Ford at 6.8 and Toyota at nearly 6.7. Mercedes at 3.8 billion and Honda at 3.7 spent nearly the same. And Renault and Nissan are at the bottom of the list with 2.9 billion and 2.1 billion respectively. Strangely, I could not find a CapEx number for the Hyundai Group, and I went through all their financials. It's the only one I could not find. But once again, now we have to look at CapEx as a percentage of revenue to get a better apples-to-apples -apples comparison of all the car companies. And now Tesla jumps to the top of the list. It devoted nearly 8.8% of its revenue last year to new plants and equipment. And no doubt bringing up Berlin and Austin accounted for a lot of that. But BMW at 7.4% is also investing heavily. General Motors at 5.7% and Renault at 5.6% are also above average. Then we come to a cluster of companies in the 4% range, including Stellantis at 4.9, VW at 4.6, and Ford at 4.3. Nissan, Honda, Mercedes, and Toyota all devoted about the same relative investment in CapEx in the 2% range. So there you got it. The ranking of the automakers, according to R&D, and CapEx. And it's going to be fascinating to watch these numbers over the next few years. No doubt, they're going to change a lot as different automakers move at different speeds in their transition to making electric vehicles. And I plan to help all of you keep track of these changes as they happen.